Hey, this was sort of an unplanned episode. Um, I just want to say a quick word about YouTube 3D videos. And um, if you notice any inconsistencies with recent videos, um, first of all, let me just say that uh, YouTube introduced 3D functionality for videos about a decade ago. It enabled you to upload native 3D content, and then it would have a tag in the metadata that would allow it to be combined into various 3D formats. For instance, like side-by-side, -side, half-width, over-under, anaglyph, different types of anaglyph, uh, interleaved for polarized mono monitors. And then a few years back, YouTube took that all away. I mean, not all of it, but most of it. So what we're left it with, for instance, if I upload a side-by-side, -side, half-width video um, on many browsers and like on my computer or on the YouTube app on my phone, it's going to automatically play it back in Anaglyph. Um, and then in other devices, such as on a Roku, uh, it won't detect it that way, and it will play it back in half-width side-by-side. That's why you may have seen some episodes, which I usually always upload twice, once in side-by-side, -side, once in Anaglyph. And you may have seen some episodes that were tagged that way, and it plays back on Anaglyph in certain browsers or in the YouTube app. So it may have looked like the Anaglyph was uploaded twice when it wasn't. So again, one was side-by-side -side converted to Anaglyph by YouTube in real time, and one was the native Anaglyph that I uploaded. And by the way, this side-by-side -side stream that's tagged as 3D also has the option currently to be viewed in a VR viewer. So I guess that makes sense from YouTube's perspective to use the two most common 3D formats most people would have because most people don't have 3D TVs anymore. So um, it would either be red, blue, and glyph glasses or a uh, Google Cardboard or some other plastic VR viewer. You press the button and it goes into not half width side by side, but uh, one with rounded edges like VR 180. And it's within a virtual 360 space. It moves as you move. Not ideal. But anyway, regarding this 3D tag, uh, there's something mysterious going on here. Um, for the longest time, I uploaded side-by-side -side videos that were rendered in CyberLink PowerDirector, rendered as, uh, as a 3D video file, half-width side-by-side. And when you'd see the finished files on my computer, you'd see the thumbnail was showing the side-by-side -side image for the side-by-side -side and the anaglyph image for the anaglyph. And then all of a sudden with the 41st episode, it started being tagged. I don't know how, maybe Cyberlink had a software update and it applied that to render 3D videos. I'm not sure, I don't, didn't even think they were still supporting uh, 3D, but maybe. So anyways, uh, between episodes 41 and 58, all the videos were tagged as 3D. If there was a side-by-side -side video that I rendered on my computer, the thumbnail would only show one image, which would show that it was recognized as a 3D video, and you could play it back in 2D with any normal uh, media player program. And then when it was uploaded to YouTube, it would have the anaglyph or VR options. But then after episode 58, it went away. Don't ask me why. Somehow it went back to the way it was. No more 3D tag and uh, no more no more 3D tag for either my computer or YouTube. So honestly, I don't know how it's what caused that change or even how this is going to upload or even what it is going to be going forward. But uh, I just wish it was supported more and in an ideal world, uh, they would have just left it the way it was and then you could just um, only have to upload it once and then everybody could watch that same video depending on what type of screen they had. So their simplification really made it more complicated. Oh well, it is what it is.